The Locals Only Podcast with Gavin Glass, bringing you the best new Irish talent every week from Radio Nova and Nova.ie. The young woman standing in front of me first came onto my radar about six years ago when she was singing. Uh, she was a vocalist in a band called Gypsy Rebel Rabble, who the mountain took yet another great band. We're going to talk about it all that later. But making her Nova debut, it is Brona Kyo. Brona, you are very welcome. Hi, yeah. Great to see you're back singing. Back singing. Yeah, yeah, well, you never stopped singing. I did, actually. I had to take a break because I got vocal nodules. Oh. Um, after after we recorded in in a Harold's Cross, wherever it was. Yeah. Um, uh, so back singing, actually, yeah, back singing. Wow, okay. Well, mm. will you give us a song while you're here and then yeah. we'll have a chat? Um, one. She strips your power and she drains your voice into a cockle shell you've worn around your throat. She is a sea witch come to rock the boat. So drain the water and dress it tight. Don't give in to those yellow eyes. Dive down to the cave dwellers. Your body makes you feel limp The water rising but you can't swim So you hold your breath and try not give up hope Pray that someone's there to throw a rope So drink the water and dredge the tide Don't give in to those yellow eyes Dive down to the cave dwellers Sea witch Sea witch Sea To those yellow eyes Dive down to the cave dwellers See just joined us that unique voice is the voice of Brona Kyo um, Brona it's so good to see you wow you, you, you haven't lost it no still sound as great as ever and you're joined by Crispy on banjo and introduce hello. yourself folks get in there Christy hello hello <laughs> you are very welcome to the show what's up and we have Mandolin who have we got on Mandolin um, my name's Andy hey Andy you are very welcome to the show so you guys were at a festival um, last that. night yeah, we've still got the sparkles on our face, I think. The, spark, the sparkle on the face and a little bit of fear, probably. And a little slight... A lot, sl- a lot, a lot of, fear. of fear. Well, you're with your unky gav. All is okay. So, Brona, tell me, you were once upon a time a singer in uh, Gypsy Rebel Rabble, who were a great band, um, but it all kind of just sort of imploded, didn't it, when the singer, uh, Tim, he moved... Did he join Queensryker? Tell us the story there. So, Tim... Um, yeah, I know he kind of uh, met a girl and 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 moved to Seattle um, to have 
a baby. Right, wow. Uh, yeah, Gatsby. Gatsby, um, is that what they call it? Yeah, Gatsby. Oh, um, so, yeah, when he left, it was kind of, he was kind of the driving force of that project um, as much as we all tried to help. Uh, um, so when he when he was gone, we did try and keep it up, but it was just kind of like, this isn't yeah. right, it didn't feel right, it wasn't really... Because some, so. some really great musicians came from that band. He had Ian Birmingham was he was always doing the Askies, but he was in that band as well. And Katie, um, Katie on violin, Lynn. Katie Lynn, a great player as well. And Ali, he was he's been in loads of different bands as well. There was a whole scene kind of you guys, yeah, all playing in different in, and helping each other out. And yeah, is that still there? Is that that's you know? Well, I mean, Christina and Andy were the original members of Gypsy Rabble, and. Uh, we have Quiva singing with us as well, and she was in the original. And who Hog was played with us? He's the bass player on the track. Ah, right. The so the scene so is like all the hits. The scene and then is we do have like Amy well. Kelly from the Stony Brooks. She, she's she sings with the Sprockets as well. That's right. Um. So yeah, it's it's this it's the scene. It's it yeah. It's it's overall. What's the word? Fishing from the same pond, or I don't know. I don't is know. that an expression? We'll Did I just that. make that up? We'll, yeah. we'll go with that. But no, I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it's pretty reassuring to know that there is, you know, that help out there. I mean, yeah. bands are kind of, you know, there are scenes where bands are working together and, and getting stuff done and, you know, helping each other out. But I want to talk about, your, your that was Sea Witch that you played, the debut single. That's the singles coming out, yeah, yeah. And tell me a little bit about that. Um, what do you want to know about it? <laughs> I would like to know how you got it together you know like um, how so Hogg who's the the bass player he he was kind of integral in that he kind of I was always very timid with my own music yeah um, uh, not very secure about it and then he kind of was like I really like it like can we start jamming and um that kind of, if you know you've got one person on your side that, that came to you and said that they liked yeah. it as opposed to you going to like this and then people are like, you know, you can't really. So that kind of gave me the, the courage to kind of go forward, forward with it then. And, Good um, job, Hog. Yeah, so that was great. So he, yeah, and then, and then pulled in everybody else and um, so it's very much so a collaborative sound that you're going to hear like, because I have a song up already called Head in the Sky and it's, it's very singer songwritery in that it's just me and the guitar. So when you add the bass and the banjo and the mandolin and everything, um, and the backing vocals have this kind of dreamy Disney kind of vibe to them too. So it turns it into something. Becomes something different. Yeah, something different. Yeah. So. Well, listen, give me another song. Do you reckon we might get th another two songs out of you? Yeah. 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 Give us one more. Yeah. Give us one more for yeah, for now we'll before we go back and do thistle. some chatting. Yeah, we'll do a little thistle. Yeah, for the crack. If you've just joined us, this is Brona Kyo and her merry men and ladies, men and women, oh God, I don't know. The boys. The, the boys. <laughs> the, the lads. You. Show you how to land Little thistle, take my shirt Let me bring you back down to earth Don't be angry like them Don't be sad and defensive If the world comes to break you I'll take you right back home And we'll start again So don't be afraid Sowing roots is not digging your grave Little thistle, spread your toes You will wither if you don't start to grow Don't be angry like them Don't be sad and defensive If the world comes to break Take you right back home, we'll start again. Don't 
That is Bruno Kill, Little Thistle. God, it's so good, Bruno. Digging it, digging it big. <laughs> so you have a gig happening yes. on the 30th of September. Yes. In the hollow ground of Whelan's. In Whelan's, yeah. What's the plan? What What are we going to, uh, what can we expect? Is, is there more in the band? More, yeah. So there's drums, bass, um, mandolin, banjo, uh, vocals, backing vocals. Yeah. Great, and do we have support on the night? Yeah, so um, I'm pretty sure he's confirmed, but uh, Sam, you know, Sam, Samuel is his name. Yes, yes, Sam, no, Sam yeah. yeah. And um, Rhiannon um, Clark, she was around a while ago. She's kind of surfacing again. Surfacing being the operative word because she's got loads of songs about whales and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and uh, Emmett O'Brien, or is it O'Brien or Brian? Emmett O'Brien, I thought. Emmett O'Brien, I think, is how he pronounced it, but he's like a spoken word kind of a dude. We saw him play in the international bar. So trying to like Great mix it up. Varied, yeah. Yeah, that's Some that is a good male and night. female energy yes. going on there, yeah. Balance it out. But it's a good night of entertainment. So if you're getting four acts. Yeah, the well the spoken word doesn't back. take as long as a musical act and why does he speak really fast? Yeah, he speaks real fast. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of speed and then <laughs> no, okay. not really, I'm joking. I should hope so. So be kills. Be um, kills. Will you give me one more song before yeah. you get out of here, and mm-hmm. then um, I will. Uh, I promise you, I will play the single next week. That's um, my fault for not sending don't it to you. Don't so it, 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 it is Radio Nova. Oh eight seven eighteen eighteen one hundred is the number. Of the band are just uh, in the middle of a team talk as to what are they going to play. Are we on the same page? Yeah, yeah we're on the same page. Take always. me. Let's make musical I'm magic, dangerous. folks. This is Radio Nova. Just hold my hand, tell me you care Ask for more, and I'll answer in fear Cause I'm afraid when I'm sad, they leave me again But you should have known I told you way back when Far away I feel Far away And don't pretend You didn't want it to And don't say it all happened my way Don't lie You were just as ready to say goodbye
Beautiful. That is the sound of Brona Q. The tremendous, the unstoppable, the unshakable, the unfeasible Crispy McQuill on banjo and Andy on mandolin. Thank you so much for joining me. Get down to Whelan's on 3rd of September. There's going to be a great night of music had and spoken word and art. Go down and celebrate it. Keep music happening. Locals only with Gavin Glass. Keeping your options open for surprising new experiences. Just like the new 182 Mini Hatch. Radio Nova. And I'm delighted to introduce to you a man by the name of Terry Hackett, who I met probably 22 years ago. And Terry's got his guitar and he's all raring to go. He's going to play a song. Terry, how are you, buddy? Hey, Gav. Nice to see you. You too. What are you going to play for me? I'm going to play The Music Makers, which is the first single off the, the album, which is just coming out. Great. We'll, we'll get the uh, lowdown. Cool. Let the music do the talking. <laughs> Locals Only with your host Gavin Glass on Radio Nova, the home of seriously addictive music. I can relate to that, Terry. <laughs> yeah. So, t- listen, you- you've got a career as long as your arm from your behind the-, the kit days with Wild Oscars. I first met you when you were an engineer producer in Sun. You were based out of there. I was just trying to work out how many hundred years ago that was. Yeah, it was about I am 42 now, so I was 19 then. Yeah, so. I'm 28 now, so I'm... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 48 now. I think it was mid-90s, 95-ish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, we are on single two of Cuckoo City. Correct. Um, this is your second album, I believe. 
Second album, yeah. Uh, first album was out in 2013, one over 80, and then I had an EP, and then uh, and then there's a second album, as such, uh, Cuckoo City, yeah. So 2013, still a little bit of a, a, a long time before you got that solo album out. Mm. Why, why was that? Is that just because life got in the way of you being an engineer, or being a, a drummer? Or? Yeah, it, it, it took me a long time to, to pluck up the courage actually to stand in front really? of the microphone. Yeah, I was, for many years, as you know, comfortable behind a drum kit. That, that's, that was my home, if you like. And, uh, you know, it's a very comfortable place to me. And for me to be, but to were, were you always writing? Had you always got songs in the back burner? Yeah, I was actually since I was a young teenager. I suppose lyrically, I was always interested in poetry, reading poetry, writing little bits and pieces, but uh, never uh, performed as a singer. No. So, what was the catalyst in 2013 that made you go the right? Catalyst was get up I, off your 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 tush and yeah, get a record out. I heard that there was auditions going for the RTE Philharmonic Choir, and I said, "Fuck this! I'm going to go for this." Really? Yeah. Wow. And I had nothing to lose and I went in and it was the best thing I ever did, you know. They went in for the audition, not expecting anything. And the chorus master, Mark Dooley at the time, said, um, I sang something and he said, OK, I want you to do that again. This time I want your voice to hit that back wall behind me. So I said, oh, OK, I'll do that. And went for it and he said, there's a, there's a great voice in there and dying to get out. So that just gave me, immediately gave me the, the confidence. Great. And then I went on to have 10 years in the choir and... And that was just a wonderful experience, which I'm still actually dipping in and out of. So you, you've been doing anything from classical pieces to yeah. West Side Story and stuff like that, and the, we'll all be in the National Concert Hall probably. Last Friday night we were in the National Concert Hall actually doing Mahler too, and it was just... It's not very, a bad very, gig, Terry. Um, it was such such a special Yeah, special I mean, I, singing like I've never sang in a choir. Oh, I was actually, yeah. yeah, I used to get clipped around the year by the brothers for in Oatlands College for singing out of tune and I genuinely wasn't <laughs> trying to sing out of tune. I was a late, I was a late bloomer, but um, yeah, there's nothing like standing. Like, it's a spiritual thing, totally, you know, very yeah. emotional thing. It's actually, I, I, really difficult to control your emotion while you're delivering that. You know, you're surrounded by 150 people, all delivering this connected together. together and, yeah, oh, almighty, it's so it's amazing. Um, yeah. Another thing that I, like I'm going to play the single, but um, little darling features your daughter on, which I just like when I when I read that, my heart just melted. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a, a, a new enough dad, and that you know, yeah. I can't, I don't mind admitting that that's the dream, you know, someday that we'll, of course. That we'll make music and art together. Yeah. What was that like? I know you're going to say it was amazing, blah, 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 but, you know, I have to yeah, ask. It was rubbish. <laughs> She's a total diva. That <laughs> was great, you know, it was brilliant. Dad, was you're so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't she, well, I can't believe she agreed to do it, first of all, and she's actually agreed to come and sing it live with me next week, which is brilliant. That'll be special, you know. Yeah, it was a lovely experience. You know, I wanted to write a song for my kids and, uh, and, you know, I don't know. How do you feel about someone that's been in the game as long as I do? How do you feel about Spotify and... Mixed emotions. Um, I mean, we all know how much goes to the artists out of Spotify yeah. streams. Um, and we hear about improvements being worked on in, in that regard, but I wouldn't hold my breath. At the same time, uh, I kind of like having my stuff out there available, yeah. you know? I mean, it's not my... This is not my career, because yeah, I mean, right. it just doesn't pay. Yeah. You know, and I'm lucky that, that, that I have something else going, you know, I'm, I'm a teacher, so I'm very lucky. You're in Bally Farman, yeah, aren't you? And there there's so many. For, for 25 years, as the song said. And so, I mean, like, what is, who are some of the acts that have come out of there? Uh, like recently, Demo? we've had um, the likes of uh, Joe Furlong, bass player, who's yes. playing with James. James Vincent McMorrow. And, yeah. Hello, Jay, if you're listening to us there, little Jojo uh, Furlong. Uh, and who, uh, what's the, um, the academic? Was they Barry Farmer as well? The singer came out of Kymore, yeah. Right, wow. I'm very sorry, but I've forgotten his first name. It'll come to me when I leave. You have a gig as well. Give me, come on, this is, this is how it works. When you say the single is out and then okay. you, you, you pitch the, the, okay. where the gig is at. And yeah, so the two singles are out already. The album is out, also out already and just out. And the launch... Or I have a gig next Thursday week, the 27th of September in the Bowery, and I'm using that gig to mark the launch of the uh, record. It's not, I couldn't call it my, my album launch because there are other acts playing on the night. It's one of the, um, it's one of Dermot Lambert's uh, Garage Ah, gig. Right. yeah, 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 great. Dermot's so, been doing great things for music so for I'm years. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, um, well, it can be, an album, it can be your album launch, you <laughs> know what I mean? It's, you got to take it where, where you can get it. Yeah. Will you give me one song before you go? Sure, I'll uh, give you... 
a song called The Fall. The Fall. This is Terry Hackett on Locals Only with your host, Gavin Glass. The Fall. sound of Terry Hackett on Locals Only with your host Gavin Glass on Radio Nova, the home of uh, seriously addictive music. So Terry, give me that date again for the... the uh, Thursday the 27th of September. Thursday the 27th. In the Barry in Rathmines. And Cuckoo City, is it out? Cuckoo City is out. Get it on Bandcamp. Bandcamp, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. It's iTunes, Bank. Go to Bandcamp. Bandcamp's the, probably the best. One, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, go to Bandcamp. And uh, I'll try and get down to that gig. Brilliant, and, it'll be uh, good to see you there. Yeah, yeah, I'll have, we'll raise a glass. That's it for this week's Locals Only podcast. Join us next week for more. And of course, catch the show Sunday evenings from 6 on Radio Nova. The Locals Only podcast with Gavin Glass. Seriously addictive podcasting from Nova.ie and Radio Nova. Radio Nova.